Welcome to my channel Tech 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 Tech. Today we will learn about a Python library called NumPy. There are many things in NumPy. Today we will learn few of them in a short video. Our upcoming videos will contain more about this library and other Python libraries also. So keep watching our channel. Now let's start. NumPy is a Python library. NumPy stands for Numerical Python. To install it, we have to install it with the command line pip install numpy. Then numpy will be installed and we can use it from the python. So now we have learned about python built in lists, tuples, sets and dictionaries. Now we will learn to use arrays in python. Arrays are defined in numpy library. Arrays are 50 times faster than lists. So arrays are very frequently used in those places where speed are very important like data science. Arrays are fast because arrays are stored at one continuous place in memory unlike lists. So process can access and manipulate them very efficiently. Also arrays are optimized to work with latest CPU architecture. The array object is numpy in numpy is called ND array. So here we have installed numpy from terminal. The command is pip install numpy. So this is our command. So I have al already installed so I do not have to do this. So after that we have to import it in the code. So we have done import numpy as np. This is an alias. We do not need to do this alias, but to use it more efficiently, we will name it as an alias np. If we do not use this, then we have to use always the name numpy. In this case, we will use np. For example, this is an array. So, in this array np dot array we are passing a list and it is creating the array. So, here we use np we can use here numpy also. So, then print a then type of a. So, in that case this is the array and class is numpy dot nd array. So, in numpy array in numpy arrays are called nd arrays. So, here we use this alias name we can use here numpy also. In this case the output will be same. this is the array and this is our type of the array is nd array. So, here you instead of using numpy we are using it as np and import numpy as np. So, in case of here we are passing a list in this array object we can pass it tuple also. So, here we have passed an tuple. So, in this case also the output is similar same that this is the array, array and the type is nd array. So, we can pass a list or a tuple anything in this array function. So, now dimension of array. So, here let A is a array of one, di zero, uh, one dimension, zero dimension that is only one element, no dimension. B is an array with one dimension, 
this is one dimension c is an array with two dimension this is one dimension and this is one dimension so this is like a matrix and d is a array of three dimension here this is a this is a two dimensional array and this is a two dimensional array so a list of matrix here this is the matrix this is a list of matrix so we can set any type of dimension in using numpy array so let's see in dim function shows us the dimension of the array so here a dot in dim b dot in dim c dot in dim d dot in dim we will show the dimension of each of the array so in this case first case dimension is 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 so this is a matrix this is a list this is 0 dimensional and this is a list of matrix so here we see that we can create any type any dimension of this array we can mention the dimension in that case the innermost dimension will contain all the elements for example here we have we do not mention the dimension now we are mentioning the dimension here a equal to np dot array this is the list then we are mentioning that n dimension equal to 6 and all the elements will be at the innermost dimension so in this case the output will be output will be like this so 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 dimensional array and the content is in the innermost cell innermost dimension so here in the in such a way we can mention the dimension of the array or we can explicitly make the details of the array with the dimensions now getting array of the elements getting array of the elements is like just like lists for example in case of b this is a one dimensional array <coughs> like list so in this case if we have to we have to show this number this is index 1 from 0 it will start and if we want to show this number this will be index 1 so b of 1 will be the value so b is the array and 1 is the index so let us check so it is 2 so this is the value in case of 2d array the out when we will access the second row third element so this is our 2d array in this case second row third element 0 1 2 3 third element will be 7 so now let us see so 6 0 1 2 so third element 6 second 1 means 0 1 this is 0 this is 1 so in this list from 0 1 2 that is the third element which be will be 6 so in this case we are showing that how to show the show any specific value of a 2d array in case of 3d array this is our 3d array in this case we have to show this first list so this is our first list then second row second row 
then third column 0 1 2 so this is our third column 6 will be the results so let's see so 6 will be the result so in this case we can show the value at a three dimensional array like list negative indexing also possible for example in 2d array when we try to put find the second row second row last element so 9 will be here so in this case let's see so 9 will be here so this is our list now array slicing array slicing is also like list so first we want to slice the part from second to fourth second to fifth second third fourth fifth so two three four five so let's see so two three four two three four second element to fifth element fourth element so before mm, before this index so before four zero one two three four so before 4 up to this will be printed so this will be printed in case if we do not mention this then only it will start from here and ends at the last let us see so it will start from second and then ends at the last position now if we do not mention this portion only this portion this will print up to 0 1 2 3 4 up to this from start to up to this so if here we do not mention the first element it will start from 0 at the starting point then up to fifth means up to 5 that means this index will not be included so in this case up to 4 0 1 2 3 4 so up to 5 we have printed the value now negative indexing also possible minus 3 minus 1 in this case minus 3 means minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 from 6 to <coughs> 7 7 we can also mention the steps so here to understand clearly we are giving it positive integers so from second portion second position to the 0 1 2 3 4 5 so this position up to this position we are taking the step 2 so this is this will print the alternative numbers up to 5 0 1 2 3 4 so up to 5 it will print the alternative numbers so 2 and 4 up to 5 only the alternative numbers if we do not mention these numbers it will start from the starting position ends at the ending position and print only alternative numbers let us see prints all the alternative numbers from starting point now how to slice a three two dimensional array so in this case we have to mention 
first the row and then the slicing position 1 to 4. So, here it is 1 means this this list then 1 to 4 1 means 0 1 1 to 0 1 2 3 4. So, up to this position. So, it will print 5 6 7. 5, 6, 7. So, in this case also we we try to print the slice from the so here in 2D array we will take from 0 to 1 0 to 2 means up up to 1. So, each of the row it will the second element will be printed. So, here 3 and 6. Three and six. Zero to starts will be from zero and up to two means excluding two that is one. So zero one. So both of the arrays will include and then we will take the second element from this. Like this, we can also mention that if we want to take both of both from both of the single list second to fourth element. So, from this list 0 1 2 from 3 to 4 0 1 2 3 4. So, up to 4. So, 3 4 from here and 6 7 from here this will print. So, this is a 2D array with slicing from both of the row and column. I think you have understood up to this. We will learn about arrays in small small videos like this. Let us meet with our next video on arrays. Till then practice python programming with array. If you have any question let me know in the comment section. If you find this video useful then press the like button and share with your friends. Thank you for watching this video.